Morning team, Deb, thanks for two. It's good. Okay. Morning team, thanks for the warm introduction, Deb. So, Petey from Belcourt Property. Um, so, we will start with what we do know about me. So, for this chapter, I'm the current reigning one to one champion. Um, so, if we look at that slide, that was at the annual BI Awards. So that was a bit confronting. I got up in front of a couple of hundred people and actually took a selfie with Kristen Hardup. There's Gary supporting my journey. <laughs> so that's me right now. I'm the current one-to-one -one champion. So what you don't know about me, I was thinking about one-to-ones in a bit more detail and then it dawned on me. So prior to my BNI journey, I was also a one-to-one -one champion. But I was a running one-to-one -one champion in a very different one-to-one -one peer group. So I used to be 114 kilos and I was the running one-to-one -one champion for years. So back then, um, took a lot of commitment. <laughs> so in one session, I could easily drink one box of beer. Dos Equis was my favorite. I don't drink anymore. I could easily smoke two packets of cigarettes and I could eat a McDonald's family meal. So one-to-one -one champion there. It is, much different sphere. So that was me at the start of a fitness competition and at the end of it, I got even bigger than that and stronger one-to-one -one champion, so that didn't work. So coming back to a bit of focus, today I'm gonna to present about property management. So what do we know about Newcastle property management agencies? For me to understand things, I really like to look at pictures and diagrams. So it makes it very clear for me so a lot of the times I get confused very often. So look at the picture. So we've got dinosaur representation. So this is representative of property managers in Newcastle. So we can see that Leah J is one of our biggest in Newcastle, followed closely by Safe Hands, which is Presence. We've got our good looking Naths there as well. So where do I sit in this Jurassic Park? If we look at that really small strawberry peach coloured miniosaurus, that's me. So where does Belcourt Property position itself in a, an absolute sea Jurassic Park of property managers in Newcastle? So I position myself and my team as services leaders. Um, we're not price competitors. So at Belcourt Property for all the teams I've worked in, uh, and teams that I lead, I always like to set a tone from the top. So our, our tone from the top revolves around three core areas. So it's being bold, being balanced, and being brilliant. So Nath Hunter outlined in his feature presentation how real estate is pretty bold. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors, what we can see. Generally a lot of real estate agents driving around some fancy cars. They're going to wear fancy suits and they've got some pretty hairstyles. So it's a point of difference, guys. So for me, I try and adopt bold, but pretty doesn't work. Still pretty brushed though and standing out. So it gets a lot of feedback. Um, I present pretty bold as well, like other agents, but in a much different sphere. You can see that. Bit of a target on social media. Someone's changed my signboard there to not Bell Corp, but Bell M. So apparently that's not very nice. I don't get it. M millennials can explain. So <laughs> we like to keep our approach centred and balanced. So property is generally one of people's largest financial assets. So it's critical that we present substance over form. So how are we balanced? How is Belcourt balanced? So with our team's background and experience in dealing with people's largest financial assets, that's our point of difference. So property management rates and fees. We see a lot of this and there's a lot of discussion around property managers. So typical property management fee in Newcastle is around 7.7%. This is one of the homes that I took over and we now lease out that one there I've blanked it out, but that's where it may have come from. That's me picking it up from 
I'm Jay Hooker at Warners Bay. That's the keys, that's the handover files. They don't like me a lot. They've seen me a few times. So for today, we're going to look at our biggest dinosaur. And that's Leah J. So landlords will sign an agency agreement with the property manager. That will detail pretty much that we're going to rent out their house to tenants, collect the money, and also their fees. So property management rates and fees generally have to be compared at a level of detail, which is a little bit, I guess, more focused than just the headline rate of 7.7%. So if we were to look at Leah J compared to Bellcorp, if I was to charge 7.7%, we were getting 500 bucks a week for that house. So you're going to be paying about two grand to me or to Leah J. They're also going to have a monthly admin fee of about seven bucks 50. So do I. So it's about another $90. But this is where things become very different around our rates and fees. So guys like Leah J will also charge an additional management fee on any kind of invoice they're going to charge for the landlord's property. So landlords will generally pay for smoke alarm compliance, council fees, water rates, repairs and maintenance. These are some indicative costs annually for each of those. So we've got about 150 bucks for smoke alarms, council fees about two grand, water rates around 1600. Repairs and maintenance of these houses about two grand as well. So with Leah J, these are the fees you're gonna see in addition to the overall property management fee. We don't charge that. So when we look at the total fees, fees on rent collected and these additional fees, we're looking at total fees. And total fees on gross rent can then equal some very different true management fee rates. So Leah J, you're gonna come in around 10%. For me, you're going to look at about eight. So property management rates and fees. So they can be very misleading is what we see as high level rates and what is disclosed to our landlords. So for me to continue to help many landlords and property investors review and understand their current property management arrangements and services received with the charges, I get a lot of overwhelming responses and I'm very blessed with the word of mouth referrals and recommendations that we continue to receive. Uh, so therefore I believe it's balanced, I believe it's bold and it's brilliant. So with that and for being our referrals I'm more than happy to discuss our family and friends rates. So more than happy to look after our team here, respective family and friends and we can discuss a rate of 5.5%. So to change property managers, as I'll discuss in the 60 seconds, it's quite daunting, but all it takes is one email from our landlord to their current property manager. It's a very simple process. After the email's sent, I then take over the whole thing. And then you'll see another selfie of me at the front of Leah J, LJ Hooker, you name it. So questions, team. Does anyone have any questions around property management? King Ling. Six. They're all um, Mavericks. This one here is the Montana Straw. The other questions, team? How, how far does it cover, like, uh, how So with us, we like to service our accounting clients. So we'll go all the way up to Cessnock. I've got a few on the Central Coast. So it's pretty broad. So we like to give complete coverage for all of our clients. So happy to travel. Um, probably Sydney would be pushing it, so we're generally around an hour, hour and a half radius. We do a lot of homes around Musselbrook as well too. Um, we've got a big presence out at Chisholm and Waterford County with the new builds. We've got quite a few investors out there which are from overseas uh, and also in a state. Any other questions, team? So. For me, that's one of, I guess, the most difficult things about property management. So at the end of the day, I'm the middle guy and I get shot at by absolutely everyone. So if I stand back from that and look at, well, how can we be balanced? Successful communication, I think, will always drive the best results in all situations. So if we can explain very clearly to the landlord where they stand as far as a rent in arrears, if we can communicate well with our tenants, and if they're presenting like an active goodwill gesture where they can pay even a small amount each week, that's generally well received by a landlord. So it's about successful communication, I think. It is tough being in the middle, but I think the more informed all parties are to this, with good communication, we're always going to get a pretty good result. Any other questions? 
That's it. Thank you, team.